Hey guys, welcome back to Airman Vision. Today I'm going to be talking about what to expect from the Underwear Olympics at MEPS. I'm assuming a lot of the stuff I'm going to talk about, the exercises are the same whether you are male or female. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into a room. So me and all the ladies went into a room and you strip down all the way to your underwear and your bra. Now, ladies, make sure you wear a bra that has like that kind of strap. Don't wear a sports bra because they need to see as much of your body as possible. First thing, you're going to fill out a tattoo, birthmark, and scar form. And if you need to, there is a measuring stick in there, at least in my room there was. So if some girls had tattoos on their legs, they had to measure it and you had to notate how big your tattoos and scars and all that were. For me, I notated a birthmark on my arm and they also said to notate any piercings, so other than your ears. So I have my nose pierced, so I put scar down for that. I also have my belly button pierced and I put scar down for that. And you'll fill out that form and then you just sit there and wait for the doctor to come in and then it'll get started from there. Now you're literally not gonna have anything on besides your underwear, guys, and ladies, you're gonna have your underwear and your bra, you'll be completely barefoot. And the very first thing is they will have you stand like this. I'm also saying it in the order that I went through it, obviously for you guys, you'll do similar things, but probably not in the exact order. So they'll have you stand at like a 45 degree angle. There were only six of us girls, so one, two, three, and then there was a row in front of us, one, two, three. And the doctor would walk by each row and she came through and was looking at our feet and our toes and our arches. She'll just kind of walk through and say, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Make sure you don't have any nail polish on your fingernails or your toenails. The next thing we did, you can stand back regular again and then you do the arm swings and you just keep doing it until the doctor says not to or she gives you other instruction because there's other people to see and she needs to watch everybody. So you just keep doing it until you hear otherwise. Don't be that person who like, they're like, okay, do arm swings. And you're like, so she was like looking at that person and can't, she can't see you. So arm swings. And the doctor will show you what to do and she'll be like, okay, start. And then she'll be like, all right, then do it backwards now. And you'll do it until you're told not to. Then we did this where we put our arms straight out and you put your thumbs up and you, Pop them in real quick and you pop them out real quick. Locking your elbows, that was very important. None of this like easy, oh easy, cause they are seeing how your elbow joints work. So you gotta do it real quick, out real quick, in real quick, out real quick. Then she had us just put our hands like this and she came through and just looked at our thighs and our legs. So she would walk around and get down to each person and she'd look at our legs. I'm not sure exactly what she was looking for, but you just stand there like this and she'll walk in front of you. Then she'll walk behind you and do the same thing to the next group. Next is holding your feet up behind you like this. So I'll turn sideways and you do it one foot at a time. So you'll hold this foot up and she'll walk behind and look at everybody's feet and she'll say, okay, you're good, you're good, you're good. Go to the next person. And then I was the very last one and she looked at me and said, you're good, and you'll do this, and you'll put the other one up. And then she'll go around and say, you're good. Once she says you're good, you can put your feet back down and just stand there. Next, we held our hands straight out like this and did the same thing, walked by and just looked at everyone individually. So I kept my hands out like this, and she kind of started at my palm and just looked like up my arm. She might turn it if she wants to. Same thing on the other side. Next we did windshield wipers with our hands so she could see how our wrist joints move. She may have you do it facing down or your hands facing up or both. And then we did fists in and out like this. Then she had all of us bend over just like this and just kind of reach as far down as you can. I would say just be like, you don't have to try to stretch, but just bend over and hang as low as you can. And then she'll walk by and she's looking at your back and your spine. And when she taps you, then you'll stand up. So when she walks behind me, she'll tap me. 
I'll stand up, that way she can see how my spine works as I'm moving up and down. And if she wants, she may say, okay, bend back over, tap, stand up. Then we did one where you have to keep your hands all the way up and you want it to be like touching your ear and then you're gonna smack it down to your legs without hitting your legs. So you'll smack it down and stop drastically. And then she'll go back up by your ears and down. Back up by your ears and down. So serious. Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, how else am I supposed to do it? I don't know, it's just a funny movement. I'm just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> be, I would say be serious when you're in there because um, you just don't want to get singled out for anything. So just do exactly what the doctor says and don't draw any attention to yourself. Next, we did something where we put our hands like this in front of you, but you want to put it in front of your eyes where it blocks your vision. And the doctor will tell you that. So if I am looking at the camera like this, I'll put my hands out in front of me but I'll block my vision from that camera. So as I'm doing that, I'm gonna be on my tiptoes. So you're on your tiptoes, blocking your vision from what's straight ahead, and then you just go down and bring your arms down beside you. I think that's what we did. I remember the block the vision part, and then I'm pretty sure we just went down. And then we go back on our tiptoes and block the vision like that a few times. And I think that's just to see what your coordination is like. Next, you'll stand one foot at a time and you'll put your foot out and you'll point your toe and then she'll have you move it around one way, move it around the other way. You'll curl your toes and then same thing, point, you move it around one way. <laughs> Try to stay balanced, but if not, it's okay. Move it the other way. In this one, they're just checking for um, how your ankle moves and you'll curl your toes. All right, then one leg at a time, obviously, or you would fall. You're gonna bring your knee up um, where it's about 90 degrees. She might ask for it to be higher. So you'll bring your knee up and then you're gonna point your foot up where you're like crushing a can with your heel is kind of how she explained it. But you're gonna stop again. You're not gonna hit your foot to the ground. So knee up, point your toe up, and crush a can, but stop like that. Basically here, knee up, lock out your knee. Knee up, lock out your knee. And then we would do it backwards. So just same thing, lock out your knee, but we're pushing back this time. And then you'll switch and do it to the other one. Then she had us do a squat, and I'm gonna be honest, my knees crack. They don't hurt me. I don't have problems with my knees, but let's see if it happens this time. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so loud. <laughs> so when we were in there, before the doctor came in, I was in there going like that to get like the pops and cracks out. And I would like twist my ankles and pop my fingers to try to get all the pops out before the doctor came in. So might be a good tip for you. If she heard that, it probably would have been it. Her head would have whipped like, <laughs> what was that? All right, next thing that we did is we got into a squat position. So you'll be on your tiptoes and you're just gonna squat down. And that's really it. After that, she is gonna have you bring your legs together and then, ooh, try to stay balanced. While your knees are together, She's gonna have each person go one by one and you're gonna drop to your knees like that. Now make sure both knees, and it doesn't have to be hard. We were on tile floor, so of course you don't wanna hurt your knees, but you wanna make sure both hit at the same time. And you will be able to hear it. She wants to make sure it's a doom, not a doom. -do. Then you are gonna walk on your knees, just five steps is what she had us do. So you're just gonna go one, two, three, Five. You'll turn around. One, two, three, four, five. And then you'll get back in that squat position and you'll be like this. And then what she wants from here is for you to get back up on your feet without using your hand. No hands. You don't have to do it fast. So just take your time and try to balance yourself. Then of course you have the notorious duck walk 
that everyone talks about. Take your time. Don't feel like, oh, that person's ahead of me. Like that, do that doesn't matter. What the duck walk is, is you'll put your weight on one side. And even I would kind of lose my balance with it. Just take your time. You put your weight over here and you'll step out with your heel. It doesn't have to be a big step, but basically it's heel, toe, heel, toe. That's what you want to do. So go heel and you'll transfer your motion. <laughs> Don't do that. It's hard when you're going super slow. Yeah, so our weight's over here, heel, toe. Not always here. Heel, and you'll transfer your weight over, toe, like that. And then you'll, you'll do five steps or however many they ask for, and then you'll just turn around like this. Like a duck. <laughs> and do the same thing. Whew. Even me, I'm a little wobbly, but it's okay, just be slow. You can do anything with your hands other than using it to help yourself balance on your legs. The very last thing that she had us do was a power walk. Fast, hard steps. It is basically to catch people up on like if they have a limp. It is not embarrassing, very simple movements that you have to do. They're just seeing how your joints work and how your body moves and making sure that you are in good enough shape to be able to go into the military, of course. And then after all the underwear Olympics are over is when the doctor will do their one-on-one -on -one medical evaluation with you. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you prepare for MEPS. Practice the duck walk. I practiced it a little bit before I went because it is a weird motion. And if it's not something you're used to doing, you'll probably like topple over a little bit. And the main thing the doctor's looking for is that you can keep your balance like that.